Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today we are back in Augusta, Georgia, to continue the search for William Hamilton. Okay, so do a quick recap on this case. We was here before searching. Now, this is actually a confirmed missing deceased person. Yeah. The person who did it. There was overwhelming evidence that that he that this guy killed William and disposed of him, possibly in his vehicle, so the body and the vehicle could be in the same spot. Last time we was here, we was pulling out a vehicle from a pond. It didn't have any, it was just a stolen vehicle. But the dive team there gave us some information. What did they say? I mean, basically, you know, they've been also searching and aware of this case. And the guy that killed Al Hamilton was found walking with mud on him. And at one point admitted to getting rid of the car behind the airport here in Augusta, which the boat ramp is right by the airport. And we have two cars confirmed one looks like it went off this boat ramp because it's downstream and the other one is way upstream it looks like it was putting the water through a part this park yeah so i don't know we got two cars we got to clear so yeah, and you know we found these a little while back but we didn't make the connection until recently that these cars could be linked to this guy that's missing yeah so. definitely so i mean it's i mean we just do what we do dive the cars see yeah. what's in i mean I mean, the water, the water looks great today, so I think we're not going to have a problem identifying the car and all that. So. so here are the facts about this case. We are looking for a 1987 Ford Tempo. William Hamilton is still missing, and his car is missing. And since we know that William was, like, murdered in his house and his car is missing, there is a really good chance that the car and him are together. You know, this is not like an accident. He, the body was disposed somewhere along with the vehicle. So we are assuming that the bad guy put William in the car, disposed of the car. They still haven't found the car, so that's why we're leaning towards the water. <clears throat> We have two cars in the river that we know of right now. One is located just upstream from the boat ramp and it, there's a park nearby and it looks like this car possibly went off the side where the park is. That's how it got there. The other car is downstream, which tells me this car went off the boat ramp and floated downstream and it's resting alongside. It looks like it's been there a little bit longer than the other car, but we don't know. Those are the basic details about the case. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the boat in the water and uh, we're gonna sonar it, find it, hit it with a magnet, go from there. So let's get this boat in the water and let's get this search going. If you guys like what we're doing and you like supporting the cause of helping us search for missing people, there is all kinds of links in the description down below. Go down there, click those links. You can donate a dollar, you can donate a hundred dollars, whatever you want. And it helps us out along the way. It keeps us fed, it puts gas in the tank. And if money is tight and you can't donate, do not feel bad. Just watch the video, drop a thumbs up. Let us know how good we're doing to keep us motivated to keep searching for these missing people. All right, we're in the boat. We're heading upstream to the first car. The first car, like I said, you can see that van right there. Somewhere around there is that where the car came off and wow. settled in the water. That's so it's a pretty unique spot. Definitely either stolen car. I don't, see, I don't see that being an accident, but who knows? We know we got a couple missing people in the area, especially the one we're looking for. So we'll dive that one first, then we'll head down to the next one. I got Michael with me from the YouTube channel, Nugget Noggin. What do you hey think about this? It's a little different for you. Yeah, it's a little bit out of my my uh, type of treasure hunt. You know, I normally look for relics and coins and fossils, so this is a bigger type of metal. Definitely bigger type of metal. Easier to find, but you never know. This might be, this might be a different. crazy day for you. Yeah, you if never it, know. Your viewers will see this video and just be like, wow. He's a jack of all trades. <laughs> like it. All right, so we're pretty much just went over it. That's the car you can see right there, upside down, two wheels. So I'm just gonna let the current carry us backwards. It should be able to bump right onto it. All right, you got the magnet down? We should be going. All right, I'm gonna, I'll pull it up. Foot. The current should carry us, should carry you right on it. See so that big line right there is telling you right on top of the car. We're going so slow, it's stretching it out. Is that? We just went on oh, this. This is streak right here is the car. The transducer's back here, so he should bump into it. That kind of takes a few tries. Yeah. Get a live scope. I don't want to mess with it. It looks like it's 
so cool though. So I think you missed it. I think I felt a bump, but it went around it something. A bump? Magnetician or far. It still shows you how hard it is. Imagine trying to find like a cannonball. You, if you can miss a car, you can miss something small. Oh yeah, for sure. The current's pretty strong. It could have is sand it the ground and stuff. Oh, wait, really. I think I'm on it. Right there. Oh, you're on it. All right. On the car. All right. Yay for you. I hold the fan for you. Hold the fan. Thank you so much. I feel like royalty. All right, so we got the car marked with the buoy. Next step, we're gonna get our gear on and dive down, see what it is. About 20 foot deep, water's 74 degrees, maybe 75. Not the worst. So, uh, I think we'll be able to see pretty good. Usually it's like a foot. I see like three, four feet of this. So, this will be awesome. Definitely, definitely different than the black water shark tooth hunting. Amazing, amazing this. Sweet. Let's get the gear on, see what we can find. Around the water, me and uh, Michael here are gonna drop down. I'm gonna drop first, but he's gonna follow two, three seconds after I am. And he'll be good to go. That's right. Try to get try get the buoy on my side, and then I'll, I'll go down, and he'll just slide over and do it the same. Sound good? Yes, yep. yes, Jeremy. <laughs> Uh-oh.
We got that one car dove. You saw what I saw. The visibility was great. It was like a Toyota minivan or something like that. Been there a long time, no tag. Looked inside, nobody in it, I don't think. Nothing obvious, at least. So we're down here at the second location. And you can look right here. We went directly over it. That's another car upside down. We have no idea what kind of car. And uh, simple as that. So we're just gonna drive four little bits right, right in this general area. Get it marked with a magnet. Now it's Adam's turn to suit up and he's gonna dive this one yep. and tell us what he finds. Hopefully it's something amazing. <laughs> you're like a you're like a veteran diver, man. I don't even need no suit. <laughs> don't need no more. Well, I'll just throw it in neutral. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> y'all are y'all are professionals. I know, dang, I'm just watching y'all swimming around. A little more. The wheels are missing. Yeah, some of the real, but all of them missing. Water feels great, visibility amazing. There are a lot of like old bottles and stuff around over there. Old bottles? Yeah. New bottles? Not too too old, but new bottles. Man, well, at least we know now. Not our car. Now right? we can pull them out at some point. Grab that. 
We got the boat out of the water. We dove both those vehicles. They are not our guy. It's not a Ford Tempo. Uh, one was like an older model Toyota man, minivan, and the other one is what is that, a red passport, Honda passport. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we cleared them, make sure there's nobody inside, there's no tags. So now I think we'll probably come back and get them on our other channel, Wrecked and Recovered. I've never seen the water that clear before. Yeah, it was really made me want to stay light, be honest with you. I wanted to stay out here all day, but you know, unfortunately, we have, we have other places to be. Yeah, <laughs> well, maybe go. we can come back and look for treasures and look for more cars. Oh yeah. But we've scanned so much of Augusta at this point. You know, maybe if, maybe if you guys know any locals, any areas we could check out, <clears throat> we can go there next. You're so you're so smart. And nugget noggin. Hey y'all. How how was it, man? The, like second car, I think you've dove on. That's two two three. It's pretty Third fun, car. right? Yeah, we did two today. It's yeah. a little bit a little different, you know. Yeah, like was, the expedition got a, a long time ago we dove that car that was, that was pretty sour taste in your mouth but these two are fun yeah, and i think we could get them out for today so, yeah you know maybe next time we'll pull some cars out the water and see how that goes all right i like it if you guys do not know who nugget noggin is he is an awesome channel he does metal detecting he does all kind of treasure hunting exploration go over to his channel it'll be linked in the description down below he has an amazing channel with tons of content what no just him And that's going to do it for today, so make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and Adam's, and we'll see you on the next video.